Welcome back to Final Fantasy IX, everybody. We are on disc two. Seems like it goes really fast, you know? <coughs> Pardon me. I had to go to work today and plow snow at like six in the morning. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything we need to worry about out here. Hey, Mary. I'm a rowdy man. Oh, I guess it's not all that rowdy, really. Ooh, treasure chest. Yonix Din. A Moogle. Hi. If we had not gone back and delivered that nut in the last video, we would not have been able to get this one. There's another item around here somewhere, I think. Um, what do you say? Nope. <clears throat> we need one of those. Because we don't have one of those. 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 I think we've already got some, but I don't know. Oh, I th yeah. Whatever the other party has, I don't think shows up in here. We got money. We'll stock up on a couple of things. We get that Mithril sword. Big ol' attack boost. Should mention uh, the cotton robe trick is still kind of in existence now that we're here in uh, disc two. Buy a bunch of steepled hats here. We'll get to revisit Dolly soon. You can buy some more wrists if you want. We 
make you knock it off. such luck. Sinna, you're kind of useless. Oh no, he's back. Black Waltz, number the third. Well, he's 1200 hit points. Doesn't really do anything particularly different. He do has what he do has. He do has one new ability. And that's called Freeze. Freeze is no fun. You don't want to be hit by Freeze. He's also got some new things we can steal like a lightning staff. We have one of those, so I don't really care. Oh, we, our health is just that low. Okay. You can try the tent trick thing on him again, if you want. Ow. He 
he's got one more thing I want. Look at that mithril sword, huh? Pretty nice. <clears throat> you know the drill. Got it. So, much like the first time, um, Black Walt is only going to attack Steiner and Marcus, but He's, he's a little broken. So if he... if <clears throat> It's basically impossible to lose this fight. Because if Dagger's the only one left alive, he won't put her to sleep this time. He'll hit himself. Look at Dagger's new racket and Steiner in trance. I like Steiner in trance. He gets like his armor looks a little more fancy and he gets a mask. It's kinda cool. But all he can do is armor break. If anybody is afflicted with freeze, as Marcus is, and they take a hit, a physical hit, they will die instantly. There you go. Pretty fancy. He has other abilities that do get better when he's tranced, but as for now, he's got really nothing. Fire was the nicest thing you could do there. Thank you. So, Dagger will use rods, we've seen that, and she will use staves, or not staves, rackets. Rackets are less magic oriented, they're more physical oriented, and they can do equal damage from the back row. If you're into that kind of thing. Okay, Marcus is here. He's a party member. We can equip him. We can unequip him. We can do whatever the hell we want. Because that's how we roll, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we roll. He gets no abilities, though, so... No strategery required for old Marcus. Mary, I want to buy 
five potions, because I had to use a couple in that fight. The best selection of items that any item shop in the world has. Oh yeah. I like stuff like this. I like the little flavor text that's like, you know, really gets into the, the world building. I do want to go to Dolly. It even says Dolly on the uh, top of the gate there. I mean, you can't hardly read it, but that's what it says. Forest for a minute. Oh. I was kind of looking for something earlier in the forests, and now that we've missed it, I don't really want to find it till we can find it kind of all at once, you know? So. Um, nothing new here unless you want to go play cards with, uh, what's his name? Morid? Mordred? Mordred DeShane? You know, speaking of, uh, spiders. Nothing new enemy-wise. Won't be anything new anymore. Enemy-wise. Enemy, me, 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 me. That's right. It's been a long time, man. So, and you can buy things here should you need them. I don't think we really need any of this stuff. He says as he begins buying all of this stuff. I don't know if any of this is going to be necessary for synthesis later, so I'm trying to stay caught up on it. I think she can give you some more hard game tips, too. So, if you're into that kind of thing. Can't do that. But... Wait, didn't we already get it? We did. Okay. Um... We're getting the Ares coin is a good reason to come back, but it's also a missable item here. If you don't do it in disc two. That missable item is right there. Hi. Well, you look like you have a beard, so there. Just that little white triangle of shirt, very beard-like. Okay. That's all we can do here. No new enemies, like I said. So let's run back to the gate. Look at them airships. It's a couple of tethered fish. I 
don't know about you guys, but I like my fish tethered. Can we do it? We did it. Hooray. I will say all this running around is helping us get caught up on uh, levels and abilities. I mean, we're still like way behind on levels and abilities, but we're getting closer. Put whatever you want on Marcus, by the way, if you're playing along. Um, I'll let you know when to equip him. I would like to pass through, please. Here's my gate pass. Yes, I do. I'm going to get in to see the wizard. Yes, some way. Yes, somehow. I don't even have a horse of a different color. How long can I keep that up? I'm not even going to find out because we're done with that. Moving on. It's scary. I, too, open boxes by hunkering down and staring at them. It's very inefficient. I'm going. Well, then do it. Here. I feel like there's a more efficient way to do this. Like, set up a table. Only raise and lower the gate in case of emergencies. All right, we have one, well, potentially two. Uh, no, I think there's only one because we didn't get the first one. Uh, we've got a stop to make before we get to Traino, which is there. It also got dark. It's very spooky. We're going to go over here. Enemies in this area include Trick Sparrows, which we saw in Lindblom during the festival, Carve Spiders, which we saw were by Dolly, Mandragoras, and Ghosts, which we have not yet seen. So that one uh, graph, the chocograph we couldn't get, it's, it's down in this neighborhood. We were over here. Ramesha's there. Lindblom's uh, there. Uh, ice Cavern right there. Just, you know, give you some bearings here. Man, I love the music in this game. It's so good. I was trying to avoid this. I didn't think you'd show up if we didn't do the other thing. Okay. Well, this music means we've got a different situation. This little ghost really likes some ore. So I'm going to really give this ghost some ore. Ladybug. We should look for a ladybug. That's per good, man. That's per good. So the first, um, the first friendly monster, as this side quest is called, is a moo. Uh, lives in the plains between the ice cave and Dolly, the forests and the plains there. It's Quan's dwelling. We know Quan. We've heard of Quan. Also, we finished some stuff. What did we finish? You finished chemist. And you finished something, didn't you? 
Now, oh, I don't know. What are you learning? Level up. Nothing else teaches level up. <clears throat> Alright, whatever. So, yeah, um, right before we entered the ice cavern, I was looking for the Moo. You give him an ore, you get 10 AP and a potion. As the game progresses, we're going to run into more enemies who want more stuff. Giving them more stuff gives us more AP and more rewards. Also, let's us, um... Kind of, sort of... I don't, I don't know. Kind of, sort of... Gives us some hints on some other stuff. You know, there's a lot to it. There's nine of them total. Just like there's nine Final Fantasy games. This is number nine. Billy probably could have stopped here. Would have been great. But then they made ten. Your pal Jason is not looking forward to playing ten. Somewhere right there. It's the Scorpio Stellazio coin. So two ethers, a coin. There's even more. That's a big frying pan. That's a big egg. That's another ether. That's a big fork. Look at that fork. Vivi's too small to eat? Or Vivi's too small to eat? That's kind of important. Not horribly, but kind of. That's important for later. There's so many important things here for later. Also, three ethers and a coin. Coin is important for later. Ethers are as important as you, important as you want them to be. God, I cannot speak today. Anyway, the way these friendly creature things work is you run into one, you give them the thing they want. They say, oh, thank you. Please tell so-and-so I said hi. And then when you're running around and you, like, if we ran into ghosts out here, you're like, oh, there's probably a ghost out here. You know what I mean? It, it only really works, though, if you actually, like, run into one of the first monsters. You don't have to do them all, I don't think. But the rewards are good enough that it's worth doing all. New for you. New for you. So I learned level up, and obviously nothing new for you. I was hoping to run into a ghost and a mandragora out here. Just ain't happening. You know, you know want to show off plenty. Let's do one more battle. See what we get. No such luck, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm gonna call our Moogle friend here. We're gonna save. I like that he brought his little book. <clears throat> and can I just for a moment redirect your attention to this this emulator here that I use called Duck Station. It's a great emulator. They recently updated so when we have to change discs in old emulators, you had to like reboot a whole new thing. Um, EPSX, I think, did it. PSX Fin, which I used for a long time, did it. The new update of, of Duck Station, there's just a little, there's, you go system, you go change disc, and then it lists all the discs right there. If you've got them, they're listed. That's really kind of nice. 
quick and easy. Because I think the problem we had last time is it considered each disc a different game. So disc two is not the same as disc one. You know? Does that make any sense? Anyway. Good job, Duck Station. You guys are doing great. One other thing before we leave. Um, Marcus will not be with us forever, but he's going to be with us for a little while. There is a character later, and, you know, I don't think I'm spoiling anything. This game is this long. Um, or this old. Uh, if you want that character to be really beefed up stat-wise when they join, take some time right about now and train up Marcus. If not, don't worry about it. Am I going to do it? Hell no. See you later.